In this video, we are going to be shifting our focus to testing the followers page. Now, this isn't a very complicated page. All we're doing is making a GET request to an external API, getting some data and just rendering that data inside of this list. And just to prove this to you, if we refresh, you can see that there's a little bit of asynchronicity. These cards, they don't render right away. So what I want to do is I just want to test that we get one of the cards and it is rendered onto our page. Now, because it is asynchronous, that is going to cause some problems if we do things the way that we have been doing them thus far. Because initially, for a brief moment of time, that card is not going to exist on our page because we're making that get request it is going to take time to get that data back so it is not going to exist on that page and that will cause an error because we won't be able to find the element that we want to assert exists on our page so let's actually go ahead and let's just create a test for this and then let's see how we can fix it up so we are going to be creating a test for the follower list and this is just a very simple function functional base component. Over here we have use state, which is an array that houses all of the followers. And then we have set followers if you want to change the followers. And then we have a use effect hook that runs on the initial render. And what this does is it calls the fetch followers function. And all this function is doing is making a request a get request with Axios to this API that is just going to get me five random users. And then once we get those users, notice I'm async awaiting this. Once we get those users, then we do set followers data.results. And data.results is going to be an array of those five users, so an array of objects. And then over here, we are mapping through the followers and we're rendering this piece of JSX element that contains the picture that also contains the name. Now, initially, we're not going to have these things because, again, this takes some time. We async, awaited it. we async awaited it. So it's going to be an empty array. And so initially, we're not going to have that render. And then eventually, we are going to get it. But that's going to cause a little bit of complications if we do things the way that we've been doing them thus far. So enough of that. Let's just go ahead and let us just create a test for this. So let's go here and let's just do follower Actually, wait, let's do underscore underscore test. And this is actually creating a file. So what you can do to create a file and a folder in the same time is just do underscore underscore test underscore underscore and then slash and then you can do follower. Follow if I could spell followers list dot test dot JS. And this creates a folder and this file as well. So let's go to, I just want to find a good template that we can just quickly copy. So let's just go to the header. Let's just copy the header. Let's go here, copy this. And now what I want to do is I want the followers list list. And this is coming from followers list. And let's just copy this, put it in the describe block, put it in here. Now this will cause some problems because if you look at the followers list, we are using linked from react router DOM. So let's just fix that right away by doing const mock followers list. And then we can do, we can return then we can do return browser router. Notice they auto imported it. And then we can just say follower list. And this doesn't take any props, so that's fine. We can get rid of this prop. And so in here, we can just do get rid of that mock follower list. Okay, cool. That works fine. That is terrific. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to. Uh, we want to uh, just see that the first card is rendered. So we just want to see if one card is rendered. We could also test if we get five cards, if the length is five. But what we want to do is we want to just see the first one. So to do this, well, we need to somehow identify. So we need to identify. Uh, let's go over to the follower list. We need to identify 
well, which element we want? Well, we want this element right here. Okay, so this one might be a little bit tough to uh, figure out. This one's a little tougher because, well, there is no text in here. Uh, there's no um, there's there's no uh, placeholder. There's no alt text. So we might have to use data test ID for this. So we'll do data test ID, and then we'll say data test ID of uh, we're gonna make this dynamic actually actually you know what we're not gonna make it dynamic we'll 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 make this um, yeah we'll, we, we will make it dynamic so we're gonna make a data test ID of we're gonna call this test ID follower item and then we're going to do index and the reason why we're going to make this dynamic is because if we want to get one well, we need to provide that index so we don't have multiple matches and trigger an error. So now what we can do is we can do follower item and then uh, over here, we can just do, uh, and then we can just get the index from the followers. So over here, we can get the follower and then we can get the index. Then over here, we can just say follower item and then index. So we should get follower item zero, follower item one, follower item two, follower item three. So let's just quickly save that, that should be fine. And so from here, what we can do is we can say that we want to get the div element, or let's just be more descriptive, the follower div element. And we are going to get this by test ID. And then we're going to say that we want the element follower div zero. So follower div or follower item zero, follower item zero. And then what we can do now is we can assert that this is going to be in the document. Now if we save this, it is going to fail. And the reason why it's going to fail is if we hover over it, you can see here the error, it says, hey, I'm unable to find the item uh, data test ID follower item one, follower item zero. And that's because there is a period of time when that doesn't exist. And so how can we fix this? Well, we have to async await this. So we have to do async. So over here we have our async and then we have to await this. However, async await does not work with get by test ID. So you can see here we still get an error. So now what we have to do is instead of using get by test ID, well, we use find by test ID. So now all we have to do is just wait and there we go. Our test passed. All right, that is terrific. So now let's uh, try and find all by test ID so we can find all five elements and assert that we get five elements back. So let's go ahead here, even though this is kind of an odd test, but it, because it really just depends on how much our API is eventually sending back, but eventually we're going to mock this. And so we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, so let's, let's do find all by now we can't find all by the test ID. I believe we can have a regular expression in here. And so this just basically checks that um, we have a match of follower item. So now we can do this and I always mess up the back ticks. So here we're saying that there is a match of follower item in the get test by ID. We can say here, get elements, get elements. And we can say dot length. And we can say that, hey, we expect it to be five. So over here should render, we should probably always forget to change the text. So here uh, renders follower item, or we should say should renders, should render follower items. And then here should render multiple, multiple follower items uh if sent or just so that this is good this is fine all right so now let's go ahead and let's just save this and we should see our tests all pass and they do all right cool now there's a little bit of a problem with this 
Right now, what we are doing is we're testing the implementation of our front end application and the back end, whether it's our own back end or an external API that is uh, that is provided to us by well, whatever then I'm going to argue that that's not the best approach. Some people might say that, hey, wait, we're at that point, we're testing out our front end and our back end, which is great. Two birds, one stone. But again, I'm going to argue that that's not the best approach. I'll talk about that in the next video.